Hello YouTube, welcome back to episode by episode, and today we have more of The Batman. Season 1. Today's episode is episode 5, The Cat and the Bat, from, as I said, season 1. And obviously, about Catwoman. It's her little introduction episode. And it's really good, I like this episode. Um, starts off with Catwoman robbing what kind of looks like a museum, but it turns out to be a mob boss's home. Yakuza mob boss in Gotham. And she's trying to steal this jade cat statue, obviously, because it's a cat. And, well, you know, worth something. And she's trying to steal it. Really heavy security. Screws up at the last second. Mob shows up. Chases her away. And it's a big deal. Like, they hold a huge grudge against her for this. And hire these dragon fangs and stuff. And increase their security and all. And they're out looking for her. And... She's doing her thing, and for some reason, the police start to think Catwoman and Batman are connected. Probably just because they have similar skill sets, even though Batman's obviously more skilled than Catwoman. But it's so weird. It's just so weird how they make that assumption. I don't, I don't really get that. But they do make that assumption. And from there, they're going on, and it's like, oh, hey, we gotta, we gotta stop. I mean, Catwoman sees all this stuff on the news about them being connected, and is like, hey, this Batman is kind of a, a hottie, and he's pretty much been accepted by Gotham now, like, as a fact, like, that he actually exists, because he was an urban legend when the, when the show started. But, you know, mm. Lots of stuff happens. She sets up a silent alarm somewhere. Batman shows up. She's she's there, and she just kind of gets him to chase her. She's kind of like testing him. Uh, eventually gets out. She beats him. Barely, but she beats him. And it's this remote control battering that he was using. She takes the battering and his utility belt. Uh, which is awful, because, you know, it's his utility belt and his main battering. He's back to the Batcave, and he's like, Oh, she shouldn't have been able to take my belt, because it has these locks on it and stuff. All these security features must have been damaged when I fell. So she's at home, tinkering around with the belt, making stuff in the Batcave go crazy. The Batbot starts attacking stuff, and Batman has to fight his own Batbot and take it down. And the Batmobile activates, and it's like rushing through traffic, ramming into stuff, and he has to get on his Bat cycle, and go stop that. Meanwhile, Alfred's taking the transmitters out of everything so stuff won't go haywire. And eventually Catwoman figures out how to use the Batarang and goes back to the mob joint and uses it to get the Jade statue. But they're waiting for her, of course. And they have all these ninjas called the Dragon's Fang. Dragon's Fangs, I guess. And uh, apparently she didn't know he was a mob boss. At least she acts like she didn't. She's like, oh, my bad. Uh, I'm just gonna get out of here. But they're like, no, you're gonna die. And they think that she was sent by uh, other mob. Another mob boss. Another mob family. But Batman shows up because he traced the battering. Followed its signal because it was the only signal still active. Followed that signal since she'd been using it. Shows up. Got this cool team up fight with him and Catwoman. They got some cool fights in the show. They really do. And they're going around, flipping around, doing stuff. Jade statue breaks. Catwoman's devastated. Mob boss is worried. Turns out there's a disc in there, a little micro disc. And it had some very important mob information on it. Yakuza mob information. It named names. It had a whole, like, family tree in there of Yakuza. And where they were spreading in Gotham and etc. So they're like, Shh. Batman got that disc to the police and it shut down the Yakuza in Gotham. Overnight. Really crazy. But uh, he and Catwoman leave. Gets his stuff back from Catwoman. Doesn't get to turn her in because she throws his stuff. He catches it, turns back. She's gone. You know, the irony. That trick he always uses on that trick on everybody. Now it's getting used on him throughout this episode. Jay didn't catch Catwoman. That was pretty much the end of the episode. But, one thing I want to add, 
this was a good episode, but I, I really liked the Catwoman suit. She had a cool suit. Uh, she had these those nice like moderny goggles, uh, nice skin suit. She had this collar that she could kind of pull up over her mouth, like one of those ninjas from Naruto or something. I forget what those kind of collars are called, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And she had that, she had this kind of cap, it had these big cat ears on it, but like those didn't bother me. Lots of people say I don't like those big cat ears on her, but I think they look cool. She had these claws, and she was a really cool looking character. But the, the best thing about her outfit was she like wrapped her whip around her waist and it trailed back like a cattail. So she didn't have a stupid looking cattail on her outfit, but she just had her whip wrapped around and the, the whip trailing like a tail. And that was really cool. That was really cool. That was a great little thing they did for her character design. Really, really cool. But, yeah, you know, that's it for this episode, you guys. It was a really good one. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out the cool links in the description below. And just check out the last episodes if you haven't seen them. We'll be doing more shows soon. Not just superhero and Batman shows and stuff. We'll have uh, kaiju shows. Might do Fringe. You know, cool sci-fi series. Colin Ryder. Some live, get some live action stuff in here. But yeah, that's it for now, you guys. I'll see you all later.